our Liturgies 101 training series where we're going over some of the main features of liturgies.com. And today we want to specifically look at the whole aspect of sharing your worship plans. Um, we have a, a great platform that is built into liturgies where you can go and uh, spend a lot of energy creating and designing, customizing your own worship plan. So here on the home page you can see on the right hand side I've got all of my plans that I have done. So if I go over to my Christmas worship plan, now here's an example of something where I may have started this plan as a premium worship plan. For example, liturgies.com originally created the foundation of this, but then I spent several days going and editing and, and rewriting some of the sections, changing some of the scriptures, changing some of the order of some of these items, and this is all so easy to edit as we have shown in some other videos. Once it's all done and I'm like, yep, I am happy with it. I'm just going to expand all the items and get like a, a good overview of that as my complete service. There may be a sense of, man, I've put so much energy into this so much um, you know, of my creativity. Maybe you're planning a Christmas Eve service. Maybe you know, you're, it's a very unique service. You might be from a very contemporary church and have a lot of contemporary music, but the, there's a kind of a liturgical flow to it all. And uh, specific selections of songs and readings and everything all fits together so well. And at the end of it, you're thinking, with all that work you have done, wouldn't it be great to share that work with other people so that they could start from where you left off, customize it, and then make that their own? So that's one of the dreams that we have with liturgies.com, and it all actually happens with this little checkbox here called public, which makes your service uh, accessible to other people. So you can go into the plans, and you can see my plans. Those are ones that you've specifically been working on. Premium plans are ones that are available that you can build off of. Uh, and then there are the public plans, and those are the ones that other churches, other users of liturgies.com have created. Now there's not a lot right now because Matthew and I are recording this video in the very early phases. Liturgies isn't hardly even launched yet, so one day there's going to be potentially hundreds of public worship plans on all different topics and themes. So uh, Matthew is with me here, and Matthew, I know you know how much work goes into creating and designing worship plans, and uh, don't you think it's going to be amazing one day when we see liturgies.com being used by hundreds or thousands of churches around the world and building wow, on each other's shoulders? Absolutely, it really will. And I'll, I'll just give you a little anecdote. I was at a conference uh, recently, and I was talking to a military chaplain, and he was especially excited about this feature because he said, we are based all over the world, and it's so difficult for us to communicate uh, uh, ideas, to share uh, uh, things that have worked in a, in a particular, uh, for a particular service for a particular time of year. And so he said the ability to be able to make these plans available for everyone to see it is invaluable. Uh, he said that uh, his feeling was that this would revolutionize the ability of chaplains to, uh, to, to make their services better and to, to create services more easily. Well, what is true for military chaplains holds true for all of us. So uh, whether you're a worship leader or a pastor, you can share and then gather from the collective wisdom of everyone else who is involved with liturgy. So this is, this is a key critical component of, uh, of Ryan's vision for liturgies of making it something that will be useful to the whole church and uh, yeah. that will be something that is living and growing. Well, I agree, and I, I love the term that you say, revolutionize. I don't really know if I consider myself a, a revolutionist in the historical normal sense of that word, but you know, I don't think there's ever been a platform 
quite like this specifically built for liturgical worship design and no. truly the dream is is to allow liturgical worship to allow the people you know litur lit liturgical that word means the work of the people and i'm just our dream of this is to allow the creativity the artistic flow to infuse into you know lay people or support staff or whoever is involved in designing worship services that uh, we're allowing them to be involved you know much more than just opening up a, a book and doing what was done last season and, and that same thing would be done you know year over year this is something that will be um, uh, allowing people to be involved in that process so if you are a subscriber to liturgies.com, all of this is open to you. If you're not a subscriber, you'll find some of these features of the worship planning system and accessing some of the public worship plans are not open to you. But for one very low, affordable price, you get all access to everything in liturgies.com. And all of that information is available to you up on the subscribe button. So we encourage you to click on there get yourself involved in using liturgies.com and we hope this feature will be something that will give you a platform to share your hard work and creative investment with other people and also use the work that they have done. So great feature for liturgies.com.